We are back here with Bruce Wood at Hilton Head Capital Partners. And you know what we're doing today? We're having conversations that people do not have. And you know, today's show has really been built around that. And Aaron and I are chatting, Bruce. We're not sure if it's that people feel safe in this space. Yes. But it seems like when I think people we're just finding here, relevance in our own lives to what information we're getting. Yes. And we you know started I mean? out talking today about relationships and things that can go right and things that can go wrong. And we talked a little bit about um, talking about money and finances mm -hmm. seem to be something that people are very um, private about. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's that they just don't feel comfortable, that they're embarrassed, that they just, they're, they have no acumen. Mm -hmm. But what do you find? Do most of your clients develop and want a relationship with you before they divulge all of their financial great things and not so good things? Well, when you only have 63 clients, Ah. Um, uh, you have a relationship with each one. Okay. And I ask a lot of questions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what I have found is that women are much more open about their lives. Okay. Men, on the other hand, are more peripheral. They want to just talk about the investments. How can I make more money? And it's an indirect way of protecting the family. That's a natural thing. We've been hunter and gatherers for millenniums. Yeah. So you can't take men out of their role of protectors, okay? What do you recommend if, if you and I have significant others? Do you, do you encourage couples to come in? Do you encourage folks to bring their children in so that everyone's on the same page? Well, that is a great question. The answer is the parents or the, the people that have the money, very reluctant to bring children into the equation hmm. because it's their money, they made it, they'll invest it and when they pass on hey we'll let them figure it out okay now, they that's get where will. estate planning yeah. and debbie brosha uh, Bosha, debbie Bosha. last uh, meeting you know she's going to expand on that yeah she's uh, an attorney that'll be on next and month and so the the real question is what do the clients want okay okay and it's a huge variety uh i encourage both men and women husband and wife mm -hmm. to be involved all Why right. is it so scary for people to talk about investments? Is it that we really don't know or it's so volatile or? I think it's a socioeconomic thing. Okay. You're at a certain level. Okay. As one of my client's daughters said, I made the mistake of telling somebody, one of my close girlfriends, how much I made on a particular investment. And she said, after that, they all <laughs> wanted me to pay for everything. Exactly. I think that there's a certain amount that you run in a, in a circle sure. of people. Uh, boaters, airplaners, car yeah. people, et cetera, et cetera. And so therefore, because you're running in a circle, everybody is successful kind of at that level. competing a little bit though too. Well, always competing, mm -hmm. but successful at this level. You know, and I use this uh, example a lot. Um, <clears throat> Bob Jepson, the car collector in Savannah, wonderful guy. He's from Richmond, Virginia. Does he I'm own the Jepson Richmond. Center? Uh, probably, yeah, uh, and big contributor to the University of Richmond. But he and Alice, being from Richmond, you can go to their home and it's just like... Very understanding. Very understanding. I've never been to their home, I've been to one of their, uh, their mm -hmm. plantation. But the issue is, is that when we get together at car events, we don't talk about, you know, Stuff. money. Right. We know Bob is super wealthy, right. okay, and yet we're car guys. And it's the same with boat boaters. One guy's got a, a trillion dollar boat and the other guy's got a little runabout, but they're all boaters. And I think it's like you said, I Interesting. think we all have sort of our public personas and then it, our finances are That's other things correct. in our lives are private. Very private. And it's very hard, the older we get, what I have noticed with people, very hard, the harder we, the low, older, older we get, get to mm. make changes in our world. All right, and we do rely on advisors um, to guide us, okay? And some are better at it than others, but they all mean well. I'm, you yeah, know, the oh, Merrill I'm guys, sure. the Wells, they all mean well, okay? It's always so interesting to come in. I think we've talked about this throughout mm -hmm. the show today. We always learn something different. And actually, it's really about a perspective. Yes. I think 
What some did of these, we learn today? Well, I think some <laughs> of the, the well, conversations. We learned that women t are more open women about a lot of things. Let me tell you, I could tell you some stories. But thank goodness we're out Proof, of time. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, thank you as always. Thank you, Erin. And thank you all for joining us here on Carolina Women. Have a safe and wonderful week. Bye-bye now.